so so George, when when I was uh, teaching uh, law school, um, I, I learned and and taught certain constitutional principles. When Marjorie Taylor Greene was teaching CrossFit, she learned a whole different set of values, evidently. <laughs> That was Republican Representative Ken Buck, a member of the Freedom Caucus, absolutely shredding Marjorie Taylor Greene on today's installment of the George Show. It's a radio show. We'll play more of that rant against Marjorie Greene in just a moment. But first, let's actually get into the context of what this discussion was about and why he was going off on Greene in the first place. So last week, Representative Buck wrote a long letter in response to El Paso County Republican Party Vice Chair Todd Watkins, who claimed that the January 6th defendants were being mistreated while they were in federal custody. For example, Watkins argued that hundreds of individuals have been detained without bond for misdemeanor offenses or detained pending federal charges. Buck stated in his letter, in his response, that all of the defendants were in fact charged prior to their arrests. And on Tuesday, Marjorie Greene penned an outraged thread on X in response to Buck's letter, writing the following. I'm appalled at this factually wrong and completely out of touch letter written by Freedom Caucus member Ken Buck about the treatment of J6 defendants. First off, Mr. Buck passed the buck on voting to object on January 6, 2021 and certified Joe Biden's election. So we know he does not support President Trump. He does support our, you know, Constitution and our electoral process, though, which I would venture to say is much more important than one individual, Donald Trump. Nonetheless, um, uh, today, George uh, Bockler, who is the host of The George Show, asked Buck about Marjorie Greene's refusal to essentially vote in favor of funding the government unless. Jack Smith's office is defunded. And of course, special counsel Jack Smith is the one who has indicted Trump in both the classified documents case and in the election meddling case. Now you already heard the first clip of Buck's response. Here's the rest. My idea of what this country should be like is based on the constitution. And she sees the world differently. She's criticized me for uh, you know, um, voting to uh, certify the election in 2020. The Constitution says Congress shall count the votes. It doesn't say Congress may overturn an election result. It doesn't say Congress can do whatever the heck it wants with this election. Shall count the vote. That's what the Constitution says. In her CrossFit class, maybe they didn't cover that. And it also, the Constitution also says that, uh, you know, the, the impeachment of a president shall be based on treason, high crimes, misdemeanors. It doesn't say it's a political exercise, right. and, and we hope that it kind of does the right thing. Um, and so I, I get tired of people. One of the beauties of Congress is you bring 435 people together from different backgrounds, and, and you try to reach a consensus on issues. When you've got people who care more about their social media accounts than they do about the Constitution, we have a real problem in Congress. Now, Representative Buck, is as conservative as conservatives get. He is a member of the far right House Freedom Caucus. And you know what? I will allow it. I have no problem with representatives like Buck being in office because he values our constitution. He values our electoral process. Like the fact that someone like Ken Buck looks sane and is, a, is the good guy tells you how far some members of the Republican Party have fallen, namely Marjorie Greene. Apparently, buck around and find out. Uh, so uh, there's two elements to the story. One is that it's just so refreshing to find any principle in Congress. I know. Right, like and especially among Republicans. And every once in a while you get an oddball that you know, like Ron Paul or Tom Massey, and I think they're extremists and I don't agree with them overall, but at least they vote in a consistent way and I can respect that, right? Um, and then Ken Buck, who again, I don't agree with him on any of the issues, Correct, okay? Yep. But he's like, it's not complicated. It says we shall count the votes. Where's the part where we decide we're not gonna count the votes and we're gonna count the fake electors, 
right? So that's a guy who said he cared about the Constitution. Like all Republicans are always like, oh, I got the Constitution right here. I care so much about the Constitution. I think 98% of them have never even read it, right? So this guy apparently read it and and actually believes in it. And he's like, look, it's not convenient for us, but sorry, that's what the Constitution says. So tip of the hat, man. I, I don't care how conservative he is on other things, as long as you're honest. It makes a giant difference, right? He's loyal to the country, he's mm. loyal to the Constitution, and he believes in fairness. Yeah. That is that is the bare minimum that we should ask of our members of Congress. Yeah, and, and he said the same thing about the Biden impeachment. He's like, the Constitution says treason or high crimes and misdemeanors. So where's the crime? I mean, are we gonna bring this without any evidence? Like, what do we, this is, this is the Constitution doesn't say, Hey, let's impeach the guy if we don't like him. That's not a thing, right? And so I'm shocked to find a principled Republican this day and age. Well, look, there is, right? And I think that there's even more that we can unite on other than our love for this country and wanting to protect our electoral process. We can unite in dunking on Marjorie Green and her incredibly cumbersome workout videos like this one. Listen, I gotta be honest, the weightlifting part was a little bit impressive. But that whole like swinging around, I don't think that's how you're supposed to do pull ups, but I could be wrong. I don't know. Well, look, if you don't like Marjorie Taylor Greene, good news, she's not gonna have a back soon. Oh my God, I know. What was that? Okay, I mean, if I would never do that because I would shred my back. Anyways, look, I, God bless, she can work out any way she likes, hashtag freedom. Uh, it's hilarious, but okay, God, there's no. Uh, and then so, but look, the, the second point I was gonna make is actually about the CrossFit. Not because I give a damn about how she works out, but because you it's notice, you know, you notice that we're talking about Ken Buck, because he took a shot at her mm-hmm. and he was kind spicy. of spicy and salty and in mentioning CrossFit a couple of times mm-hmm. and he got everybody's attention. Literally, like when I talk to Democrats that are either running for office or already in office, I say, look guys, if you want to do like policy speeches, go to Yale, go to their debate club, it's amazing, wear a bow tie, have some fun. But if you'd like to get attention and win, whether it's the, the, your campaign or on an issue that we really care about in Congress, you must attack people. I know it makes you deeply uncomfortable and an NPR was going to be livid with you. They will whisper an extra degree higher, okay? I can't believe they're doing this, okay? But yeah, take a shot at Marjorie Taylor Greene and her stupid CrossFit exercises. And then guess what? They'll pay attention to what you're saying. And in this case, he does that. And then they, we pay attention. Oh my God, it turns out the buck stops here. This We found a Republican who's principled. Mm-hmm. That's how you play the game. If you don't want to play the game, no problem. Go home and be a dentist. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR, so those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.